because you're wrong. You've been wrong. In this video, we're going to refute Tim Pool's ridiculous idea that somehow by paying taxes that pay for roads and electricity and infrastructure, that that makes it so that businesses have to service everyone equally. The problem with what Tim Pool is saying is that it doesn't make any sense because the businesses pay taxes too. Businesses pay more taxes than individuals do. Remember also that a business is nothing more than one or more individuals who come together for the purpose of engaging in commerce. A business does not have to bake the cake, so to speak, because of the fact that you pay taxes in an area. You pay taxes to pay for the roads, well the business pays more. The business has to pay for their utilities. The business has to pay taxes for the roads. If someone from the business has to drive somewhere to get something, if someone from the business pays for shipping, there are fuel taxes, highway use taxes, all kinds of taxes that pay for that infrastructure. If they have phone service, they're paying phone service taxes that are used for phone infrastructure and, funny enough, they're also paying for something called Connect America, which is a little fee added to every single telecommunications bill in the United States, to pay for rural areas to be connected to the internet and other services. So this doesn't make any sense. How is it that you paying for taxes that pay for the infrastructure that leads to the front door of a business means that the business must service you equally to everyone else. Keep in mind, this is not an argument about the equal rights, the, uh, the concept that if you're black or white that you can segregate or uh, treat someone differently. It doesn't have anything to do with that. He, he's trying to rationalize that into some sort of legal framework, but it doesn't work. See, here's the thing. If the taxes didn't pay for these things, only rich people would have electricity and roads built to their homes. Poor people would not. That doesn't mean that rich people who pay a grossly disproportionate number of the taxes in the country somehow own the roads because they pay for the taxes. Yes, it's public infrastructure, but just because public infrastructure goes to your house doesn't mean that your house is a public place that has to accommodate everyone equally. So Tim Pool, if I come to your house in wherever the hell you live in Jersey, and I walk up to your front porch and I say, Hey, <laughs> I'm gay, so you have to bake me a cake in your house. Say, I, I don't want to do that. Well, um... You know, you, this is your logic. You <laughs> you kind of said that you have to. Have you baked a cake before? Yeah, well then you have to bake one for me in your house. Because my tax has paid for the road to come to your house. That's not how it works. Now, here's the problem. You're going to try and cut a division here between the businesses and the personal wall. A house is personal. A house isn't a business. A house isn't offering a service. It doesn't matter. Your logic does not work because you can't have a personal business divide in that logic. A business is a person or collection of persons. My business is a person. Me. I have multiple small businesses, but they all ultimately are just names for me. Does it mean that my business location, wherever my office might be, has to accommodate you equally because you pay taxes? No, it doesn't. It absolutely doesn't. Because the same logic would apply to your home. And before you go off half cocked, a lot of people run their businesses out of their homes. So no, your, your argument makes no sense whatsoever. The reason that you have to accommodate people of protected classes equally is that it was codified into law 60 years ago that you have to do that. It was less than 60 years ago, wasn't it? Eh, as of this video, but give it enough time, it'll be 60 years. The law says that you have to do that. Now, if it were the case that this tax thing that you've proposed somehow makes it possible that 
oh, I pay taxes, so you have to provide equal accommodation. First of all, that would extend beyond protected classes, and then you get into the problem of, well, there are an infinite number of ways to carve up humanity. You can carve up humanity by tons of personal attributes. So it doesn't work very well when you look at it that way, because with an infinite number of ways to carve up humanity, you now have infinite classes that you have to accommodate. You now have infinite possibilities that you may have to account for, and it's simply not possible for a human being to do that. Oh, Tim Pool, I don't understand why you keep making this argument. I've left comments, other people have left comments, and some of the people in the comments that agree with you, they have no idea what they are talking about. They say the most bizarre half-cocked crap. If it were true, they wouldn't have needed to pass laws that force businesses to accommodate people equally among certain strictly defined protected classes based largely on immutable physical attributes. So, Tim, stop. Stop saying that your taxes pay for infrastructure, therefore anywhere that that infrastructure goes must be some place that accommodates all people equally. Because you're wrong. You've been wrong. You keep repeating it. You've been told in your comments, which I'm guessing you don't read, why you're wrong, but you keep parroting this to your audience of tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of viewers sometimes per video. It is wrong and you need to stop repeating it. And while I'm here and on my soapbox and berating Tim Pool, hey, Tim Pool, guess what else? The copyright thing, the DMCA and the Section 230 and all that, go watch my video on that because you're wrong about that too. Section 230 does not outline a limited set of categories that websites can censor on. It basically gives them blanket immunity. The DMCA doesn't give them blanket immunity for everything, but it only deals in copyright. Go watch my live stream where I discuss it and go over the law in detail, and stop being wrong about that too. Keep up what you're doing though. Everything else you're doing is pretty darn good. Have a good one. Take care.